sunny day, the sunshine looks day-glow because of all the chemicals in the air. There are thousands and thousands of teenagers there, and I'd never seen so many kids um, smoking so much dope and taking so many drugs. People were really, really stoned on weed and also on ecstasy as well. So it was a very sort of return of the 60s hallucinogenic type crowd. It was a shit gig, but it was a fantastic, the, the, you know, from, from a technical point of view, the, the wind was blowing the sound all over the fucking place. I don't think I got to hear one of the songs properly, but that wasn't the point. The point was it was all them people there. The Spike Island was, uh, that was the blueprint for my group. We were then going to become the biggest band in the world. And the Stone Roses, their impact and that, that gig stretches so far beyond the gig itself and, and the music. You know, the Stone Roses need never have played a note at that gig. The job's already done when the people are there, do you know what I mean? Spike Island was a good feeling. It was this feeling of space, it was a feeling of freedom. After having been locked up by 11 years of a Conservative government,